So in today's video, we are going to do a question on block diagram reduction. And the question we are going to do is this. Okay, so this diagram for block diagram reduction may look really difficult to you, but I am telling you that this is very simple. Uh, you just have to know that where to start and what all things to do while attempting it, uh, summing blocks and blocks together and feedbacks and all those things. Okay, so when you are seeing a block diagram reduction question, first what you have to look for is blocks together, that is adjacent blocks. I will tell you. See, here you can see this is an entire large block diagram and there are certain blocks which are seen together. Okay, so when some blocks are seen together means you can combine those blocks in some way and you can replace it with a single block. Okay, so when you see here there are two blocks together G1 and G2, right? And these G1 and G2 are simply cascaded. So, you can replace these two blocks with a single block with again G1, G2. Okay, so this G1, G2 can be replaced with a single block G1, G2. Right, so that is the first thing we are going to do as a part of reduction in this entire block diagram. So, we will be removing these two blocks and we will be drawing a single block here with value written inside G1, G2. Okay. So, the arrows and everything is same as that but only thing is that we have combined the two blocks. Similarly, can you see any two adjacent blocks in this entire block diagram? Yes. See here, there is two blocks G3 and G4 which is connected to a summing point, right? And in the summing point, you can see G3 is connected to a plus terminal or the positive terminal of the summing point. G4 is again connected to positive terminal. So, this entire thing, that is this part, this much part is giving you nothing but G3 plus G4. That is if G3 as a block and G4 as a block is given to a summing point with positive and positive signs means you are going to combine these two blocks by an addition. So G3 plus G4 will be the resultant. So you can replace this much of the block diagram with a single block G3 plus G4. Okay. So next thing we are going to do is that. Okay. So let us replace the summing block also. Why? Because we have already performed the summing inside the block. Okay. So, we will remove all these things and we will draw a single block with G3 plus G4. Okay. Connecting this to this branch. Okay. So, I hope that much is clear to you. Now, next we are going to so, this much we have simplified. Now itself the block diagram will uh, is looking a little bit reduced form. Okay. So, the next thing we are going to look for is feedbacks. So, we know that for a closed loop system, there will be a gain and a feedback factor. So, if it is a positive feedback means your output expression will be G of S by 1. Okay, I will write it once again. So, consider that there is a gain and there is a feedback factor H. If it is G of S and this is H of S, consider the feedback is connected to a, if it is connected to a positive terminal, then the expression for this entire system, which is a closed loop uh, system, will be G of S by 1 minus G of S H of S. If the feedback is connected to the positive terminal or if the feedback is a positive feedback and if the feedback is negative feedback means the output expression will be for this entire thing the output expression will be g of s by 1 plus g of s h of s now this thing we are going to look in this block diagram that is we are going to look for any closed loops that is whether any feedbacks is here 
or any closed loops is here which we can combine with this expression as a single block let us see okay so we are going to look for closed loops okay so here you can clearly see this is a closed loop so this is the gain and this is the feedback factor so g1 g2 is a gain and this is the feedback block and it is a what type of feedback it is a negative feedback why because it is connected to the negative terminal of this summing point or the summing uh, summing unit so this is the negative feedback okay and what is the expression for the negative feedback g of s by 1 plus g of s h of s okay so that thing we are going to do nextly we are going to replace this much of the the block diagram that is this much portion we are going to replace by applying the closed loop concept g of s by 1 plus g of s h of s is the general expression here g of s is g1 g2 h of s is h1 so it will be g1 g2 by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 okay so this much as a block can replace this negative feedback loop okay so i'm going to do that this much i'm going to remove and we'll be drawing a single block there and the block will be having value g1 g2 by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 okay again arrows will be here so we have replaced the closed loop with a negative feedback with this single block by applying the equation for the negative feedback system closed loop system okay also uh, also i have drawn the signs positive sign here and negative sign here which i have actually removed by mistake i have written is written it once again okay next thing we are going to do here is we want to form if you want to form a closed loop here we want to move this takeoff point behind this block okay so there is a takeoff point we are taking it from here so next thing we are going to do is we are going to move this takeoff point here that is after the g5 block okay so i'm going to remove it and i'm going to draw the takeoff point after the g5 block okay now when this takeoff point is moved after the g5 right again a g5 gain is also getting added to this branch right but that is not in the our original block diagram so to remove that g5 gain getting added along with this branch what we'll do is we'll put a g5 here so these all things are actually basic rules of block diagram reduction which we have explained in the block, block diagram reduction rules okay so if you have not watched the block diagram reduction rules means it will be actually difficult for you to understand so in that video i have explained how to uh, move a pick off point or a take off point uh, behind the block and ahead of the block all these things in uh, in those cases what all things need to be do, need to be done i have explained okay so please do first watch the rules on block diagram reduction then only try to watch this video otherwise it will be little bit difficult for you okay anyway i'm explaining everything in detail step by step so we have removed or we have moved not removed we have actually moved this this takeoff point from this this portion to after the g5 block so to nullify the effect of g5 gain getting added to this branch we have put our g5 here so this much of things we have done now if you see these two blocks again the blocks are together right so we can again replace it by with a single block g3 plus g4 into g5 so when two blocks are coming together in a cascaded form the gains are actually getting getting multiplied not added it is getting multiplied so originally this block is having a gain of g3 plus g4 we are going to multiply g5 gain with it and we'll form a single block i'm going to do it okay let me just remove these two blocks 
and let me just draw a single block here which is g3 plus g4 into g5 now our block diagram has actually been pretty much reduced okay so this is how you reduce your block diagram step by step okay now your block diagram is having only four blocks it is very easy for you to actually simplify it further again we are going to look for any uh, closed loops with feedbacks here so if you see this portion of the block then you can see that there is a closed loop okay and this is the gain and this is the feedback gain or feedback factor h3 again that is a what type of feedback this is a negative feedback so you can apply the equation for negative feedback it will be g of s by 1 plus g of s h of s here g of s is g3 plus g4 into g5 and h of s is h3 so you'll be getting g3 plus g4 into g5 by 1 plus g3 plus g4 into g5 into h3 so this will be the single block which will constitute the closed loop entirely so this portion i'm going to change by applying this block so this entire block i'll be putting in that path okay this block so let me just remove and draw it we'll draw a single block there so if you're preparing for the higher end exams like gate exams or the isro scientist exams these type of block diagram reductions are useful for you okay so g3 plus g4 into g5 by 1 plus g3 plus g4 into g5 into the feedback feedback factor h3 okay so now your block diagram is having how many blocks only three blocks and one summing point which is this summing point okay again two blocks are together right and you can again simplify it with a single block by taking the product simply so i'm going to i'm going to take the product of these two blocks okay so i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this g1 and g2 and i'll write it here g1 g2 then in the denominator you have to combine these two denominators as, denominators as well so it is one portion this and into this i'll write it here so 1 plus g1 g2 h1 okay one plus g1 g2 h1 into this and numerator i'll write it once again g1 g2 g5 into g3 plus g4 okay so this is your block gain now so we have combined again two big blocks and we have formed a single block because the blocks were actually in the cascaded form okay so in the top block you have g1 g2 g5 into g3 plus g4 by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 into so this is one uh, portion and into 1 plus g3 plus g4 into g5 into h3 so this is one factor and this is one factor then in the feedback there is a h2 by g5 so here again you can see that this forms a closed loop right and with the what type of feedback it is a positive feedback so the equation you have to apply here is g of s by 1 minus g of s h of s since it is a positive feedback the equation is like this if it is a negative feedback in the denominator, denominator you have a plus okay here it is a minus okay so this equation you have to apply here and you have to go for simplification if at all your option is having this block diagram you can choose it but if you want to write the transfer function means you have to again apply a further simplification and while simplifying that is while applying 
g of s by 1 minus g of s h of s equation where g of s will be this block h of s is h2 by g5. So, you have to substitute these two uh, terms into this equation that is g of s by 1 minus g of s h of s. Then you will be getting a single block. So, I am going to directly write the block here that is just simplification. Okay. So, you will be getting a single block. I am going to write the um, result here. You will be getting g1, g2, g5 square into g3 plus g4 by 1 plus g1, g2, h1 into 1 plus g3 plus g4 into g5 h3 into g5 minus g1 g2 g5 into g3 plus g4 into h2 so this is actually a little bit uh, big equation actually but the concept is simple only thing is you have to apply the value of g of s and h of s the previous blocks we have seen and you have to substitute in this equation and then the left out thing is actually simplification and after simplifying you will be getting this value and this is nothing but the transfer function of the system okay so for the big block diagram this is the transfer function okay so, I am really hoping that you understood the concept of block diagram reduction. So, first thing you have to actually look for in the block diagram reduction question is for the adjacent blocks, whether any blocks are cascaded or can be cascaded or uh, two blocks can be connected in, that is any two blocks are connected in parallel or we can combine it or not. All these things you have to look, okay. So, if any two blocks are can, can be cascaded or any two blocks can be added and form a single block means first you have to do that thing then you have to move the pick off points uh, ahead or behind the blocks then also you have to look for the closed loop systems with positive or negative feedback and then apply the equations for these closed loop systems and simplify to a single block okay likewise you can do step by step simplification to perform the block diagram reduction so, I am really hoping that you understood the concept of block diagram reduction because we have actually attempted a really big question. Uh, this much of big question you may not face in your exams but for your semester exams you may have to face. So, if you have difficulty in getting the last equation, I would suggest you to stop just before this equation or if you want to write the transfer function, if it is a lengthy process of, of simplification, just draw the block before this. Okay, so this is the final transfer function you can actually stop just before this block okay it will be a little bit simple for you because this simplification will take a little bit of time okay if you have time towards the end of examination means you can do it okay so anyway if you found the video useful please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching